Well, hey guys, everything's greening up and growing like crazy and it's time to break out the weed eater. I've got a couple of really cool little upgrades for a weed eater. Come check it out. So guys, with weed eaters, one of the things you run into is your line feed. Uh, having problems getting it to feed, it gets tangled, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, for me, I've kind of gotten into a routine uh, about all I get out of one is a season because I use my weed eater a lot. I have a lot of property to maintain, but I love using the quick loads. So today I'm going to, the one I've got, the one I had for last year, it's just wore out, it's time to upgrade it. And so I'm gonna replace and put another quick load in. And then I uh, also wanna to talk to you guys about a problem that I ran into last year and what seems to be a really good fix. Um, <clears throat> When I am edging around my mulch beds, around my trees, you know, you go from mulch to grass, I like having that real nice straight edge from the grass to the mulch. And the way I make that happen, obviously, is I turn the weed eater up to where uh, my trim line is running vertical, and then I just, just nip the edges of the, the uh, grass and make that a really nice deal. Uh, the one thing that I've run into is on where the stream comes out, <clears throat> on the edge of your head, uh, I have a lot had a lot of issues with it just breaking off right there, just just completely just going off clean. Even though you weren't weren't really digging down in the dirt, it was just breaking off. And so I went back to the steel dealership and I talked to them about the problem. And it's kind of a common thing, so they recommended, and I did this last year, and boy did it work great. <clears throat> upgraded to this heavier duty line that actually has carbon fiber built into it. Um, it's a little bit little bit bigger line, but this this head can handle up to a .105 and that's what this is. And so I'll just make sure I don't overfill it when, when I'm putting it in. But as you can see, this line is really heavy duty. And even though it's a little more expensive, what I have found is this line, not, not, a, not only does it not break off, but it'll last twice as long as the other line does and it's not twice as much money. So even though you pay a little bit more for it now, in the long run, you actually are gonna save money by using this product. So, and, and again, I'm not getting anything out of steel. This is just a really good product. I, we did it all last fall and it really works great. So I just wanted to share this information. So anyway, today I'm gonna to upgrade to a new quick feed and I'm gonna spool it up with this newer, heavier duty uh, line. So anyway, guys, you know me, let's get busy. So the first thing I'm gonna do real quick is remove the old head. And with this one, you just use your locking pin that comes with your kit of all the stuff for supporting this. Just goes in a top hole, you push down until you lock in. And then once you're there, then, and this just spins off like this. And be careful when you come off with it because it's got this washer and everything on it. <clears throat> all right, once you get your old head off, um, you take all the adapter nuts off, and then I want to show you all that comes uh, with these universals. They come with all of these different adapters that I don't, I'm not going to say it fits pretty much every weed trimmer that's out there, but I would think it would be pretty much almost all of them. So anyway, you find the one that works with your situation, um, and then you just spin up the adapter and then just spin this back on. It's that fast and easy. This is a real fast and easy upgrade. So anyway, with the locking pin still in, still in, I went ahead and spun the new one up. And uh, now I'm to the point I can remove this. I'm all good to go. And now I need to fill the spool. We'll do that next. All right, this head uh, in the instruction manuals, it states it'll hold about 16 foot of wire. Uh, I'm running a little bit heavier gauge wire and I don't want to take a chance on it getting tangled and just overfilling this. So I ran off about 10 feet. All you do is align, align your lines up and you can look and see straight through where the hole is. And this thing is so cool and simple. You just feed it straight through. Get it about even on both sides. And then once you get it about the same, then all you do is start twisting it and just roll it up. It is this, and again, this is called a quick load. And man, does it make it easy, fast. And again, these sell for in the $20 range. 
so to me you know it's it's well worth when you've got one that's not functioning right and it's locking up and it's just getting more out uh, again I use mine a lot I have a lot of area to take care of and so I just go ahead and invest and replace in the spring and should have a whole season now ready to rock and roll so anyway guys you can see five minutes install a new head and load it and we're all ready to go nice little upgrade for your trimmer uh, and again the heavier string hopefully will last you a lot longer it's definitely worth the money investment I know for a fact last year uh, we were not wearing them out near as fast it seemed like you was getting at least twice as much weed eating done without having to pop in and to bring out more you go for a lot longer distance where you'd have to pop in and bring out more so uh, I definitely would encourage trying that I hope it helps with you guys again seasons here we got to get busy so anyway guys I hope that helps anyway just wanted to share take care